up to the whole Surface Pro with a dial on basically that you can put on the screen and everything. I just spent about $2,500 on a computer and it will be nice if I have something like that. But as an alternative, we're gonna come back to basically be using this Logitech G13 uh, with Photoshop. And uh, I'm gonna show you how fast I can work with this and how can I improve my workflow with, uh, with just this little thing. And I can, I can imagine the possibilities that little dial can do while you're working on the screen. I have the Wacom Tablet Pro here, the large one. Uh, I'm not a very, I don't have very steady hands to be working on a little one. I also have a small one, but I like to work on the slower one. I like to work with bigger strokes, you know. I work better, my, my pulse is not that good. And I'm gonna be working with this image right here that I have on the screen. Basically, this is the end product, and this, and this is what we're gonna do. Uh, let me see what I can do here. I'm gonna go ahead and trash it. I can always come back and not save it. Uh, well, it doesn't matter. We just could go ahead. So I'm gonna show you, and I'm gonna have uh, the keys recording. You're gonna see them over here at the bottom left corner. So you can see all the keys on how fast I work. All right, so usually what I do, I duplicate the layer and uh, I sharpen it a little bit. So I do that. What? Why is it not available? Ah, of course, because I have it on the background. So let's do that. I have it set up as F, Command F1. As you can see, I got all my, basically everything set up to, to do Command F1, to do Unsharp, Convert, Mode, Duplicate Layer and rename it. Basically, it just does a little bit of sharpening. After that, I press G1, I have my keys there, and it launches portraiture. I have my settings, I click OK. After doing that, I give it a little retouch, and I launch another one, I got exposure, and I already have my settings, I hit enter, because I already have my settings ready to go, so I can go, go up, this is not the one. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it again. And I have it here. Uh, let's see, that's the one. I already have it ready to go. So, as you can see, that's basically one like three touch and settings and configure uh, uh, a little bit of contrast, a little bit of uh, work on the skin and everything. So, let's go ahead and trash this and uh, let's see. Come on, I'm gonna go ahead and trash it. I'm gonna start from the beginning so I can show you how fast it work. Did it work? I it worked too fast. Gotta give it a chance to do it. So with a couple of keys, I did portraiture and then I went to exposure and I did it and hit enter. So after that, I'll just go ahead and start working with my layer. I'll go ahead and zoom in. You know, I hold my heat pen to pen, I press another key and I start going to town. I'm gonna do it pretty fast. I usually spend more time and uh, depending on what I'm doing to the image, it depends how much time I spend. So I usually start cloning uh, or healing, you know, depending on what I'm doing with the image. This heel brush is just I don't know, sometimes it works great. It tends to get a little mushy when you use it, and I don't like it, but if it's from far away, then I can go ahead and choose my clone stamp if it's gonna be, if it has too much texture and just deletes it, removes it. A lot of people will tell you not to zoom in that close to edit, but I say no otherwise, because if I can see it from far away, and if I cannot see it from this close, there's no way anybody is gonna see it from far away. And the reason why I zoom in this close and start removing a lot of this stuff, maybe not so much in here, but uh, it all depends how I zoom out and take a look again. But some of my, my our images get printed in large in canvases. This our images, basically our work is designed to be printed large. We see our work, we print our work on a four by six and an eight by 10 but our work is really designed to be on a canvas. And when we print our work on a canvas or these newborns, it just, they, they come alive. 
the image just comes alive and I do not want people to uh, to see your images or printer work and come in and be like oh look at that what is that you know you know when you do that to people when they have something in their face and you go like this or you tend to go like that on the image to remove maybe like a speck of dust for example right here on the flower you will think oh maybe something on the flower I just go ahead and remove it some people don't pay attention to it but I do I tend to kind of look at it and if, it's, if you see a little white dot it just bothers me you know and so I go ahead and tend to remove it but the main idea of this video is to show you that if you don't have three thousand dollars to spend on a surface studio which is beautiful i would love to have one of those and maybe configure it with the dial just right here it's very similar to this but uh, i don't have that I already spent some money on a computer on an old actually mac pro because i know that apple wasn't going to come out with an i found some apple wasn't going to come out with a computer this year they're basically i i just i just gave up for waiting so i bought a mac pro on ebay a 2012 12 core with 64 gigs of memory and then just pretty much customized it from there but most of it i was more concerned with uh, with the power and this mac pro for two thousand dollars that i spent is the equivalent of a of a tower of the little trash can maxed out which is like seven thousand dollars or something like that the speed is pretty much equivalent to that i could have i could have bought built myself a pc but i just sometimes i just don't want to deal with the with the hassle and the virus and all that kind of stuff and i use my computer all the time and i do not want to be dealing with that to be honest with you that's pretty much about it laziness not necessarily laziness because i can spend my uh my time as you can see in our editing i prefer to spend it editing or working on the computer learning some more about editing stuff like that new techniques make my workflow faster i'm in school so i do that i have kids and tinkering for an hour just to fix a problem on the computer which i used to do a lot when i was younger which i used to love and i still do but i just don't have the time anymore to do that and you have to pretty much pick your battles that's that's hilarious it's nothing else to it i'm not being lazy i just i just have to pick my battles that's all but the whole point of this is to kind of show you my workflow i'm working for improve before without having to spend three thousand dollars on a computer which i would love to i'm sure a lot of you will do and as you can see with this right here configuration i wish i can do that on the tablet I was gonna buy a Cintiq 24 inch HD to pretty much do the exact same thing you'd be working, but having this like that, it was gonna be kind of my way. We had to be working almost like this, which is really big. So I would still want one. It will definitely, I'll be able to edit faster, more precise. Some people don't need that, but I kind of learned for some of the pros that when it comes down to editing, spend the time, don't be lazy. You know, it's part of the process. Of photography it's part of photography and if you don't like it you need to learn to love it because your images will improve even if you some people might not see the differences you know a lot of people are not gonna see those little lines and they're not gonna pay attention you don't want people to to move their focus from here to oh what's that dot right there no focus on the main thing that you want to show them show them you know it's just that's what uh, that's what my main focus is improve workflow improve image editing faster and like i said without really moving my hands from this to to the keyboard so to use two hands to do a couple of shortcuts you know that's what it is oh, come on sorry computer's running slow when i'm capturing full screen so Warning Photoshop, so I'll try to do my best. Try to kind of show you. So mouse back in. I know the computer right now cannot keep up on how capturing and 
recording while I edit in Photoshop. Come on. There you go. Hopefully with this you can see where the 30 to 40 dollar uh, controller that I bought on eBay. You can buy it brand new for like eighty dollars. I think on lot on Logitech's website, which is the Logitech G13, and you can program it. I made a video before on how to program the the, the shortcuts and the keys. And uh, oh, what was going on there? Huh? Why did they do it yellow? That's so weird. I've never seen that. So that's fine. Just for the main purpose, I'm not going to spend time and try to think over that right now. I know usually it works the content aware, but we'll go ahead and do it a different way. Uh, let's see. Let's go down to town right here on their legs. As you can see, I, I remove all the scaly stuff, you know. A lot of photographers are for newborn are really lazy. I think it's just laziness on their part. And uh, they're like, oh, no, you should leave it because that's how the babies are and everything. And I think it's just BS. I think they just don't want to deal with all the scaliness that sometimes the babies have. This is nothing, absolutely nothing. Sometimes they have this, but like on the big chunks of sections to get really dry screen. As you start getting. Uh, the babies that are older are peely, you know, more than a week or two after they're born, and they really start killing off. And uh, some photographers just do not want to deal with that. They they don't want to spend the time, you know. And uh, but I think it's laziness. They just say, "Oh, the baby, that's how it should be. That's how you're gonna remember." I think it's BS because. Otherwise, why would you wear makeup? You know, why would you try to cover out a pimple when you're taking a picture or something? You know, because you don't want to be remembered with that. Even though that that's how you are and that's the natural your body reaction has and everything. I think it's just. I think it's BS. That that's all it is. I think it's just laziness. They do not want to spend it. Maybe they don't know how. I've seen a lot of photographers who do not use don't know how to use this properly, or they. They use the mouse, click, 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 editing. Oh my God, it's just painful to see, you know? It is painful to see how they edit with the mouse. You can just hear the clicking, clicking, the hit, clone stuff. And yeah, I can see how it's a, it's a pain in the ass to see, um, to edit with the mouse. I wouldn't even want to do it. And I think that's probably why. Using a Wacom tablet is not easy. It, it takes time getting used to it, for sure try to do this this fast on a mouse it will be a freaking nightmare oh i couldn't even think about just doing that maybe it took me a couple of months to really get used to the wacom tablet but i was determined to improve my workflow make my job easier you know it's just the self-determination to improve myself even that's why i also got this to try to program it and set it up just the way i want it so that I know, okay, what are the keys that I'm using? These are the keys. These are the functions. These are my shortcuts right here. What do I do? Frequency separation, creamy skin, A beat, frequency sharpen, dutch and burn, and yada, yada, yada. Okay, I already programmed my shortcut keys on Photoshop, you know? And once I program my shortcut keys, then I went into the, the Logitech software, gaming software, and here, I basically just went ahead and start programming. I rename all of this, and uh, I program it. You know, yeah, it took me a while to to um, to remember them, memorize them. You know, of course, like anything, it takes time. And as you can see, I printed it out so that I can have it right next to me. So we're like, oh, which one was heel brush? Oh, this one. And basically, just kind of set up everything from here. You know, so. You're not gonna remember everything all at once. You know, you just don't. It just takes time. It's just my wife just well probably couldn't do this, you know. She doesn't like spend time in the computer. And I think that's 
a lot of times a lot of photographers do not like to spend time on the computer they they think they're wasting their time you know and uh i don't know i don't know i think they're shooting themselves in the foot their images can be uh, improved so much if they just spend a little bit of time on a computer editing going into the details retouching and everything spend the time it took me years you know to really learn how to do this properly or my way i kind of went in there learn it try to memorize it oh that's another thing you know try to remember because i will learn something and then all of a sudden i will forget you know i forget how to do it i'm like oh, how did what was that thing to do the skin the creamy skin that i learned over here oh man what was the shortcut to the frequency separation oh, and i will forget i'll probably forget one step and that'll be it you know as you can see i work with layers i shouldn't be working with just one layer you know i should i should actually name it and um just try to reduce this redness right here uh, computer's running so slow while i'm capturing it's kind of killing the whole purpose of showing this stuff come on computer you know you will think because you have a decent computer well you should be able to record while you're editing in photoshop but no it doesn't like it it just jitters and the thing is that the resolution is pretty high too you know it's that's pretty high that's why it's kind of there so i can't really do the clone too ah yeah 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 maybe i shouldn't capture this this large that's why i see people probably do it on the laptops with a really small screen you know but uh yeah this is kind of what i was showing you guys uh how to do you know how to work improve the workflow and everything without having to do that you know this is my enter key this is zoom this is my um, zoom out this is to crop you know if i wanted to do that that this is my pen my v tool to move uh this is clone brush uh this is my no clone and then the stamp tool then this is my brush this is to deselect and uh liquefy stamp new layer and liquefy you know this is my shift key so if i ever wanted to contract it and do this then move it the size you know to keep the uh to keep my oh my god the constraint the sizes and everything this is the select all this is to copy and this is to paste you know undo and then uh this one is to for hue and saturation that i have already set up if i wanted to increase it um, there you go this is for my select tool my, for my lasso so this one that i use for uh uh for if i ever wanted to do more of the frequency separation i have frequency separation already set up when i do f5 but already has everything in here then if i do my lasso depending on how lazy i feel or if it was something quick and so on i need to program my keys to do the filter the gaussian, uh, gaussian blur and everything so as you can see then I deselect the computers running really slow now. But as you can see, this is overdoing it. But I can always, of course, reduce the opacity or something, or just going to uh, into uh, gas and blurring, of course, doing manually. But just to kind of show you what I have everything set up in here. You know, if I want to stamp and create a new layer. This one to portraiture. So you can see in the screen all the keys that I'm doing at one this is to go into the raw when i have the image bring it into raw and make some adjustments in here this one is for exposure you know just kind of ready to go i'm gonna dis disregard that f4 is to transform so all right here it's it's ready to go this one right here my second key i have a couple of keys set up right here so if I wanted to save this image, I just press this one 
and then save it. If I wanted to uh, con save it as for the web, I have this other one and I have this key to go ahead and give me a specific size. You know. Then if I wanted to save it, I'll go ahead and just go press this one to save it, you know, and then uh, it'll save it. And then this one to close the window. So I can have five images open. Usually I like to work with five images to work my workflow five at a time or 10, depending on how big the images are. Save it and close, you know, and then I go back to work on the next image, you know. So this workflow that I have going on, it just, it definitely helps, you know, it helps a lot. Oh, not, did not mean to do that, you know. Come on, Photoshop, where are you? Uh, this, come on, G. This is kind of, like I said, oh, maybe if I would select that one. I wish I can find something that I can work this fast. But the same with the computer, with the dial would be nice if I'm working here and I have the dial, that I can program this micro crease, that it will have the dial, like a couple of buttons, like on the front. So as you're grabbing it, you press the button and then a menu will come up or a menu like here. So as you're working, you can just click and so on and click and move the dial for exposure or something. And uh, press another one, maybe the, the whole uh, the toolbar from Photoshop kind of comes in here, maybe something like that in two rows. So as you're working, you can do brush tool, clone, and I have option here set up, set up in here. So I can go here and pretty much just the dial, just dial it in for the brush size and everything. So as you're working, you like for the color, it's the same thing, or opacity, as you're working here. And this is kind of, I would like to see in Photoshop, you know, I would definitely like to see that and uh but hopefully in the future they, they can actually set up that dial with some macro keys for more advanced use so maybe sell two one for the basic user the other one for more advanced so i can pre-program my macro keys into that so that makes my workflow in here work and i can already see it bring it here and then just work move it around press button menu click work here you know zoom in the image or zoom out and like i said Something that will bring, depending on where I'm at, like bring the menu on the bottom or on the top. So I can have here, click on the menu, menu right here on the bottom and click. So just a couple of things, like I said, you know, that 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 will improve my workflow as a photographer, you know. So even if you have um, something set up as Capture One, you know. With Capture One, I use, that's my software that I use to uh, work with my raw programs and everything. And uh, and I have a couple of keys, you know, to set up, uh, like for example, in this third one, this one will bring uh, the name of the files. This as you can see, I have already set it up in here. It will, if I copy it from the, the website that I have, was Pixel give me the file name, so when the customer selected, I just come in here and paste the number so it doesn't have it. And basically it creates the, the images right here. So once I have the images on the screen, then I hit another key and I hit, uh, I'll put demo. And it'll create another one right here with the images that I came back and it gives me the images on the list. So you can be programmed with <clears throat> multiple, Capture One, Photoshop, Lightroom, whatever you want. And I have three different ones. So if you want to even, like I said, even another one. But uh, uh, meant, then I meant to do that. But uh, but you kind of get the idea of what I'm gonna do. It doesn't have to be just Photoshop, but it could be multiple that you do. Oh, uh, this is to record, of course. Why would I? Hey. I, I messed it up and changed the keys, but it's okay. I can always go back and change the uh, the macro keys on a, on Logitech if I messed up something like that, like right now, you know, the quick macro. So I send a new command and I go multi key and go to zoom out full. 
start recording and then command C and then stop recording then hit OK and let's see if that works I think it's command zero ah, idiot. that's basically what it is I'll do to do send a command full zoom out it doesn't matter command zero stop click OK then everything will zoom in a little bit then I test it back yes so we're back at the oh how I have it set up you see how I can just program any keys with multiple or single as I have it so hopefully Photoshop can do something like this for more advanced use so that you do not want to move their hands from that while you're working on the screen but for anybody else who wants to instead of using this in the command chief command option e to stop a new layer or command v command c no 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 this will be your kind of what you need as you can see i have more keys program right here shift delete curves layers convert to smart object duplicate i have this one for x so when i have a uh, painting or with my brush i switch it from black to white when i'm working with mask step back stay rotate rotate left and right and i don't have to actually the dial program in here i just have it to brush size you know if i wanted to do that or if i wanted to auto scroll zoom in and out i, I usually don't get the zoom i use my my keys here but i do use it if i'm using my brush here you know so this is initially what I would recommend for you guys to get a Wacom tablet and a $30 uh, uh, programmable keyboard, you know, while you do that. So hopefully this will uh, help you guys on how to improve your workflow. Hopefully show you how fast I do with multiple keys as I'm doing this. And I don't have to move my hands to here and try to get my keyboard and my laptop. If you have a laptop, if you have a Wacom tablet, get this. This, waste of time. Try to program all of this. One key does multiple keystrokes. F5, you not even have to go Command F5 or Command F5 or 6 or Control or Alt, whatever it is. Multiple keys, I just wish you can do that. As you can see, you can do Shift Command Option E or something like that, as you can see I do that. Then move back, you know? I do this, you cannot work faster than this, in my opinion. I haven't seen anybody else do that. So hopefully you enjoy. If you have any comments or anything like that, let me know. Post them up and I usually try to answer whenever I get a chance. You guys have a good one.